in this screencast on the iPad and the iPhone for J software. We start at the jsoftware.com web page and this is their splash screen. If we go down just a little on the page, we'll see the wiki uh, available for all of J and we want to spend most of our time here in the wiki at the guides section. So I'm going to click on guides here and you'll see that uh, there's quite a bit here. This getting started section is very valuable. It um, is somewhere that you probably want to go early on. If you click on this getting start getting started section, you'll be taken to this page where um, in, among other things, it mentions over here examples. And on the studio page, we have a lot of online labs that suggest some of the labs you may want to go to. So we're going to go there and if we page down, uh, I want to recommend these A Taste of J Part 1, which is uh, we'll look at a little bit more, and also this idiosyncratic introduction to J, which is a little bit more mathematical, but very good, written by the developer of J. Let's click on A Taste of J Part 1 and we'll take a look at it here. You can see we uh, can use J as a calculator. We can type in lines. The input lines typically are indented like this and the output lines are not indented. So this line, for example, is saying add 5 to 10, 20, and 30, and that's your result. I want to look a little bit more carefully at this data manipulation section. This is the way you uh, assign a value to a variable t. Then by typing the pound sign, the number sign, hash code, in front of the letter T, it tells you you're saying that you want to count the number of characters in T. So there are 15 characters in it. Another J primitive is this nub symbol, which tells you the unique characters in, J, uh, in this variable. And as you can see here, the processing goes from right to left. Now, if we want to count the number of unique symbols, we put the hash symbol to the left of what we already have. That just gives you a, a small feel of what J is like. Now I'm back on the guides page where we worked uh, some time ago, and I'm going to page down. And remember, we want to go to this iPhone and iPad platform iOS page, so I click there. And on this page, uh, you can see there's a good bit. Let me uh, change the aspect there so you can see a little bit more. Another uh, part that we're not going to look at today but may be important because it's an iPad and an iPhone is to look at this file transfers page because uh, it is a little awkward due to the limitations that Apple put on us. But what we want to do is look at this uh, portrait view of an iPad screen. Now this screen shows uh, at the top We've typed in HLAB to get the help 
on uh, using labs within J on the iPad. And here we've typed in JX core. That was this command here. We've typed it in and we see that it lists all of the core labs. We want to choose lab number three and so we type in JX3 there and uh, this is what we see. The first uh, lesson within the lab on an idiosyncratic introduction to J. Notice that within labs to advance to the next lab you press this return symbol icon on the uh, button list at the bottom. Now let's go back to the top and uh, look at another image here. This one showing the J vocabulary in the HTML window or the dot window. Here uh, at the top of the iPad window this section here is called the HTML window and you get there um, you open and close it by pressing this dot symbol here. That is um, the vocabulary, all of the uh, primitive symbols of J shown in that HTML window. And the way you can access that yourself is to type this long link into a J session. And it will place th th all of those up there. Now, I can't do it on here because this is not a live screen, but you can um, scroll this top page to s uh, this top window here to see uh, all the different other symbols, primitives. Another tip that you might want to uh, learn is to how to change the font size. If you type in JF20, you get this size. You may want JF30. The default is JF10. Finally, I'd like to show you how to uh, read messages at the forum. If you go to the link jsoftware.com slash forum search, uh, you'll get this page. And if you enter, for example, iPad into the uh, subject area and click search, you'll get a list of all of the recent messages. Now, then if you click on any of these uh, links, that'll show you the precise message. Well, that's all for right now. I hope you've learned from this.